this is the x-ray of uh, this gentleman having hala fracture in the ap and lateral view before reduction so in this now we are going to put the plate and secure with the screws so we'll take you to through the surgical steps of the procedure so this 30 35 year old gentleman having fracture of the distal shaft of the ulna so this is very straight forward surgery will for the skin incision take the tip of the lecrona to the radial stellate and on the subcutaneous border of the ulna you have to give the incision there is no such kind of any important structure here so we will go directly just palpate once before going for any incision and now i'm going to start the procedure so this is very straight forward surgery so now you need to start with might some dorsal veins will come on the way this is okay now i can feel the ulna so the cutting increase so we have retracted the flap so now we remove the skin and we are going to just make a skin incision in the incision over the periosteum you can feel the bone here and directly you can see the bone directly now so let me expose the bone and fracture then i'll come back to you so after opening the fracture site we have just curated because it's like 2 weeks old fracture so after the curate and removing the fibrous tissue we are going to take a wash and uh, then we will go for the reduction of the fracture so this is the fracture and we put the bone holding and we'll try to reduce the fracture always check the rotation let me reduce and then we'll see that so we have reduced the fracture and we have put the locking and dynamic compression plate 3.5 mm and three screws on the either side this is the fracture site which is reduced and it's perfectly aligned always check the rotation this is the tip of the olecranon and this is the ulnar head so it should be in the neutral position this is the one most important thing you have to check now we have to stabilize the plate with the k wire and now i'm going to put the cortical screws for the compression and then we'll put further three screws for the locking yes yeah, so always try to give the support and down also this is a locking screw so i'm just trying to put to save the time to drill but in the cortical you cannot do this This is the last screw which I am putting. This screw is coming near to the fracture site, so we have bit angulated this. So this is a variable angle, so I think 15 degrees is going to be right. Yes. So let's see. Pick up. So. 
we have put three screws distally with compression screws and three proximal with the compressions. Now you can see the fracture. Now we will take the wash and we will close the flexor and extensor compartment. Okay, and after that is thin. So this is the final picture of the reduction and putting the plate. You can see that fracture is well aligned and plate is in situ which is secured with the six screws. There is no gap in the fracture and we have checked the DREG joint which is very much stable. So we are closing the flexor and extensor compartment. Some stitches with the Y grid to cover up the plate. We are putting the subcutaneous so stitches. I am trying to put some subcutaneous stitches which uh, I am not going to remove and the cosmetically it will be also better in the terms of scarring and it looks good for the patient. So Mr. Ahmed is putting those stitches. He is very expert in subcutaneous. And after that we will do the dressing and start mobilizing the patient immediately.